A ghost, perhaps? No, that is surely not the case. What is that look upon your face? I am no ghost, if that is what was on your mind. No. Uh, huh? Who's there? Professor, what are you doing here? Perhaps I was talking in my sleep. Well, so you heard me then. Yes, it was a nightmare. I've had them since I was a child. Stupid, pointless dreams I can't control. It's terribly frustrating. No. They're just worthless dreams of the past. Talking about it won't change a thing. I had a feeling you'd say that. I suppose I could try, but only if you swear not to tell a soul. I appreciate it. I dream of my older brother, paralyzed. Help, crying for help that never came. The youngest, babbling words beyond meaning. I see my family dying slowly, waiting in the darkest depths for a glimmer of light. I once had ten siblings, eight older and two younger. Such a large family, and yet I became the heir to the throne. Do you know why? Every last one of them was crippled by disease, or lost their mind, or died. I was the only one left who could inherit the throne. Things kept getting worse. The darkness kept getting darker. In the end, I was the only one who survived. The nightmares are a reminder to never forget, to never allow such terrible things to happen again. Even now, I'm the only one who can carry the weight of the Adrestian Empire, the future of the Empire. Of everything depends on me. Hmm. I shared more than I intended to. I suppose there's something in the air tonight. I've never told anyone about my past before. Please, forget I said anything. Sleep well, my teacher. Oh, it's you. Out late again, I see. What brings you here? I just wanted some fresh air. There's a lovely breeze tonight. I always wander outside when sleep evades me. So I see. Still, it's ill-advised to stay up so late. I should get some sleep too, but... Have you ever felt a sort of longing for the outdoors? I have. There are times I long for the warmth of the sun, for a sweet breeze on my face. Do you remember what I told you the other night? About my past? None of my siblings had a chance to lead the sort of life they deserved. An ordinary life. Things and I were... We were imprisoned underground, beneath the palace. The objective was to endow our bodies with the power of a major crest. I have always possessed the Crest of Saros, inherited through the Hressfeld bloodline. But it was only a minor crest, and most of my siblings bore no crest at all. In order to create a peerless emperor to rule Fodlin, they violated our bodies by cutting open our very flesh. Now here I stand, the fruit of that endeavor, Edelgard von Hressfeld. But that came at too high a price. Ours weren't the only lives devastated by that terrible process. Innocents died as well, without even knowing what they were dying for. And there you have it. The truth of the Hressfeld's empire. It is. A 
but when you see my true strength, you will know that I speak the truth. I have kept it hidden all this time, but I will reveal to you the power of my second crest. It is the same as yours, the Crest of Flames. When it manifested for me, I swore a silent oath. For the sake of my family, and for all the poor souls whose lives were traded for my existence. For their sake, I will build a world where such meaningless sacrifices never again sanctioned. As Emperor, I will change the world. I swear it. Ugh, I'm so sick of it all. There is so much to be done, yet all I encounter are new problems and pitfalls. Ugh, sometimes I wish I could spend just one day doing absolutely nothing and gorging myself on sweets. Do you mean it? Just the thought makes me happy. But... Hubert would never allow it. Indeed. It may not be possible now, but one day we will know the joys of idol. Is that a smirk I spy? Is it so amusing to you, me daydreaming of free time? <laughs> Your silly grin says otherwise. But let's put all that aside for now. There is something I've been meaning to tell you. I'm afraid this might sound a bit... sentimental. However... I want to thank you. Because of you, I feel I can walk my faded path without losing myself. If I were alone, I might have lost perspective and become a harsh leader with a heart of ice. But I'm not alone. With you by my side, I'm somehow free to be not only a leader, but... Simply Edelgard. Until now, no one has been able to surpass me, much less command me. I have always been seen as an untouchable princess or emperor. No one spoke to me as an equal or met my gaze without flinching. It was lonely, terribly lonely. The only person I could rely on as I tried to claw my way out of the darkness was myself. But you... You have been a brilliant light. Somehow you have chased the darkness away. And for that, I will always be grateful. Yes? Oh, it's you, Professor. I was certain it was Hubert coming to drag me back to my duties. Your Majesty, you must know your supreme talents are needed at present. Why not gaze at these documents instead of the sky? Doesn't it? And the worst part is that he's always right, so I can't even argue with him. But that's enough about Hubert for the moment. While I have your attention, I'd like to thank you for your help in that last battle. As you well know, I'm perfectly capable of commanding the army by myself. However, when you're around, it's somehow different. I'm not sure I can properly explain it. I suppose your perspective on the battlefield is simply sharper than mine. When you're devising tactics and tricks for us, it's almost as though you can read the enemy's mind. There's no getting around it. Your talent for strategy far exceeds my own. I'm quite jealous in all honesty. Is that a fact? Well, if you insist. I suppose a flower from another's field is always more beautiful. I'll admit, I think of you as rather detached, so to hear that you have emotions such as jealousy is something of a relief. I can't deny it. Ever since I underwent those procedures, I've certainly distanced myself from the ordinary world. Friends. That word somehow doesn't seem adequate. Besides, we've been friends for a long time, you and I. By now, we're so much more than that, at least in my mind. You know, instead of Edelgard, you can call me just L, if you so please. 
That's what my parents and closest sisters used to call me when I was little. Now there's no one left who calls me L. But with you, well, I could allow it. In fact, it would mean a great deal to me. Why? Hmm. Well, you have stood beside me and shared my burdens. As I said, you are much more than a friend. In truth, you are like family to me. I suppose that's why. The children of the goddess have been defeated at last. The shape of the world will be forever changed. Humanity is free now. The world is ours once again. Can you believe it? True, there is still much to be done. We can't ignore the possibility that our enemies will resurface one day. In the end, the fate of this world depends on the choices we make. I don't know what the future holds, but come what may, will you stay by my side? You chose to protect me at the Holy Tomb. Will you choose me again? What I'm trying to say is, I need you. You called me L. That's... I... That means more than I can say. And this ring... It's lovely. Thank you, my dearest friend. I will happily accept it. I must admit, I feared my feelings would be unrequited. So long as I had you by my side, it never mattered how many enemies I amassed. You were all I needed. All this time, I longed to share my feelings with you, and it seems you wished for the same. Now, our wishes have come true. This feeling, it's overwhelming. I promise the same. Together we can achieve anything. We will crush those who slither in the dark and restore peace and order to Fodlan. I will then find a suitable successor and hand over the reins of the Empire. When all that is done, it will be just the two of us. I look forward to starting our life together in the light of a glorious new dawn. Yes, that is all we can do for now. We must remain focused on our goals. To think that I made true partner and equal now. The solitary reign of Edelgard has come to an end. From now on, we walk this path together. With time and care, the darkness shrouding this world will be lifted. You and I will become the light that shines over Fodlan, just as you have shined upon my life.